What's going on? My name is Cyrus Asar, and today is seven signs you're emotionally unavailable. Once again, seven signs you're emotionally unavailable. I'm going to get straight to it. Number one, you avoid deep conversations. Not only do you avoid them, you dread them because you don't want to open up about some of the things that you have going on. I know family members, I know friends, I got a lot of people around me and I can tell when somebody is emotionally unavailable because we have a lot of good conversations and typically this person was an open person that will get deep in conversations. Now they be like, man, I ain't got nothing to say. I don't want to say nothing. And I'm like, dang, what's going on with you? Oh, I'm good, man. Because something happened that make them emotionally disconnected or emotionally unavailable. Things can happen to somebody that make them shut down. So number one, you avoid deep conversations. Not only do you avoid them, but you dread them because you don't want to open up about the things that's going on in your life and you can feel like somebody's passing it to you. They like, you know, this would happen to me. This would I've been through, blah, blah, blah. Next thing you know, they passing it to you and you're like, this is like a hot potato. Let me get rid of it. And I don't even want to entertain a conversation in the first place because I don't want to open up. Number two, you avoid deep connection. You be like, I don't even want to connect with somebody on a deep level. You figure out a way to get out of there. Like it's people I know growing up and they had disconnections with their mom or their grandma or no motherly love. So they can't commit to no relationship because they don't even want to have a deep connection. They got something inside of them that says, if I commit to this person and they truly love me, I know I will do them wrong. So let me stay away from a deep connection. Let me stay emotionally unavailable. They want to live there because they feel like they're not complete. And if they commit to something and have that deep connection, it's only a matter of time before they ruin it. And that's something else. But that's one of the things that can tell you that you're emotionally unavailable. Number three, you avoid commitments. You don't want to commit to nothing. It's like, man, even on the smallest stuff, I don't want to come to that party. I don't want to do like you just stay away from anything that involves commitment because you don't want that emotion coming your way when somebody be like man why don't you come pick me up nope don't got no time for that you just turned off by anything that deals with emotion because you're unavailable it's to a point that no matter what somebody say or do you're just not there and you don't want to commit to something because you know you won't be there emotionally that's another way to know that's another sign that you're emotionally unavailable moving on to the next you avoid emotional triggers like it's certain things that can trigger your emotions. Somebody can say something to you. It can be something that will happen, like your, your brother or sister may have a child or whatever it is. And you can avoid that because it can trigger something emotional. And you don't even want to open up. Therefore, you stay away from that. You avoid anything that can open up that emotional vessel or anything that can open you up emotionally because you're not available for it. So you got to watch these things because you'll realize that you're missing out on a lot because you're shutting yourself down. I don't want to be around nothing that's going to trigger my emotions. I don't want to have a deep connection. I don't want any commitments. I don't want a conversation. I don't want nothing to do with anything that's going to bring out the emotions in me. Number five, you think getting help is weak. That's one of the things that's crazy. People will really think I'd rather tighten my belt before I ask for help. They really embody that and they feel like if I get help from anybody, I'm too weak and they will shut down emotionally because they be like, I don't want nobody to feel like they can tell me nothing. I don't need no help. Keep that. And then they were just like this. You can keep the help. Just keep it over there. I don't want nothing. And what happens is you collapse in on yourself. So you really got to watch that sign about being emotionally unavailable because you don't want to think that somebody helping you out is weak. Please don't do that. Number six, you get defensive about yourself. That's one of the things that always is a good sign of somebody being emotionally unavailable. They can't even take a joke. The smallest thing that somebody say, you're getting overly offended. It's like, you know what? Don't say that about me. And like, bro, we're just joking. I don't care. It's like, what, what's wrong with you? Like, what is wrong with you? We can't even joke with you normally like we always have done. So sometimes it's something that may have happened to that person that can trigger it. Because if somebody is going through a breakup or something that's intense in their life, they're going to feel like I don't want to be available for any of this. I don't even want to joke. So you got to watch this. You get defensive about yourself. Anytime somebody says something or any of that, you're automatically on the defense. 
So that's another sign that you're emotionally unavailable. And the last is you have deep trust issues. Typically, this stem from people doing you wrong consistently over periods of time. Whether it is somebody close to you, like your mother or father, or whether it is a friend, somebody like that will make you shut down and be emotionally unavailable for everybody. Even if you've been in a relationship and you got cheated on or whatever it may be, that can shut you down and make you emotionally unavailable for everybody to come. And it's unfair to you, honestly, because this guy or girl cheated on you or did you wrong does not mean everybody that's following is going to be the same. And since you're shutting down and not allowing anybody else in, it's going to make you suffer. It's not going to make the other people. They're just going to approach you. They're going to love you or try to. You're going to shun them away and they're going to go away. You don't want that to happen in your life when people really love you and really care for you and they're unable to talk to you because you're shut down and nobody can even help you in no way, shape, or form. You're just going to make your life much harder than it has to be. So you really got to watch these seven. But all these things will tell you if you are emotionally unavailable. Thank you for taking out the time to watch this video. If you want to get a hat or a shirt or any of my books, you can do so in the description box below. Also, continue reaching out to me on Instagram. I truly appreciate the topics you've given me, all the insights y'all sharing with me, all the things that y'all been through that y'all sharing with me that I'm able to talk to you about. Continue reaching out to me on Instagram. I truly appreciate it. And thank you once again for taking out your time to watch this video.